Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause, and this week we're taking you to the nation's capital where scientists are meeting with congressional staffers to advocate for the importance of funding for science. I'm joined with biologist Dr. Brian Kleppel on Capitol Hill, where we are speaking to our representatives about federal funding for science, especially for the National Science Foundation and other major agencies that fund environmental research. We'll shed some insight on how the meetings went with congressional staffers and how scientists can engage in advocacy work. My name is Brian Kleppel. I am a faculty member in the Department of uh, Geosciences and Natural Resources at Western Carolina University, uh, where I've been a faculty member for about 16 years. And previous to working at Western Carolina University, I was a research scientist with the University of Georgia, uh, working at a, a research field station in North Carolina. AIBS uh, organizes the Hill visits that we're participating in today and also do the advocacy and kind of the boot camp training that we've been in for a couple of days. So that's the reason why I'm here today, uh, hopefully making a positive impact for science and for federal funding. So there is widespread support for research uh, at uh, most federal agencies, National Science Foundation, National Institute of Health, uh, NOAA and others. So I don't think there were any people who mentioned that they weren't supportive or didn't like. They were really engaged with it. They really enjoyed, uh, Jake, hearing some of your experiences early in your educational career that were funded by the National Science Foundation. So I think overall a very positive day. Yeah, I mean, and we've met with Democrats, Republicans across the aisle, um, and both sides, I, I was really encouraged to see, were, were supportive of of funding uh, National Science Foundation and other other science agencies. What are some of the the challenges that you expect with this meeting and, and what, are, what are we hoping to get across here? Uh, I think the challenge that any uh, representative or senator has on an appropriations committee is there's uh, not enough money to go around so what are you going to prioritize what has the biggest impact uh, or what has the longest term impact and I think that's the the challenging thing from staffers and the representatives and senators is what's their highest priority, what's the biggest uh, bang for the buck uh, as they're seeing. And I think research, for, again, for federal or other agencies really has a great payback. The, in, the investment that's made uh, by our tax dollars, by the public funds, really result in uh, jobs, education, more stable environment. Uh, uh, business opportunities, patents coming from things that scientists are discovering or building or making are really positive. It's not enough just to do the science. As a matter of fact, when you submit a proposal to the National Science Foundation, it's uh, scientific impact and also broader impacts of the statement. So what are you doing to, to take that science to the public or to engage the public in the results or the things that you're finding? And uh, some of the things that I've done over the years have been uh, schoolyard programs for sixth grade high school community colleges or others so engaging students uh, getting them excited about science potentially recruiting them into uh, uh, high school or college programs uh, I think meeting with the general public uh, and I think that being able to start some of those programs when students are younger the sixth grade programs took a lot of work uh, but it was also a way to engage students and to show them the excitement and the passion that we have as scientists for doing the work that we do. Should other scientists be engaged in this type of advocacy work? Yeah. Uh, obviously both of us are here today as advocates for science so we are uh, we believe in it or we wouldn't spend our time and our effort advocating for it. Uh, I think that increasingly scientists are really supportive uh, of getting the word out. They're, they're getting used to writing broader impact statements on proposals and thinking about how to uh, spread the information about their projects. Uh, some people are better than others as far as their, the tools that they have available, uh, websites, uh, public interfaces, uh, speaking engagements, uh, electronic media, social media are all great tools to be able to use to get the, the word out. Thank you so much for watching the Civic Sci TV News Show, and we hope to see you next time.